Good morning guys. I'm sorry I didn't say good night yesterday, but I, there were just too many people in the room so I was shy. I didn't say anything. But anyway, I'm just saying goodbye to this hostel now and today is going to be so exciting because Ling Ling is moving to a dormitory. Yay! I have no idea uh, how it looks like because I haven't seen any pictures and I've just gotten... Um, well, I know where the campus is. And then we have to look for a building number 37 and yeah our dorm is under construction right now so we have to um, stay in another dorm for like a month and then we move to the correct dorm after the construction so yeah i don't know that's ex exciting we'll see how that goes i hope i can find it but first I'll take the bus to go and get uh, Shaolin, she's in the other hostel, you know, so we will meet at her hostel and then we'll go together. And check how beautiful the weather is today, the sky is so blue, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like really really blue right now. So that's amazing, just waiting here with the other guys for the bus. Can somebody please tell me why these are always so high, tall? You see here my foot? It's like climbing a mountain every time you have to get up on the sidewalk and down again. Why is that? Please let me know. I would really like to know. Seriously, I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, I got off the bus and now I'm walking towards the metro to see if Shaolin is there. She didn't answer my, uh, ma my messages, so I'm not sure if she woke up or not, but we'll see. Wish me luck. Right now around here it's become really, really popular to order food online on your app, on your phone. And then this dude, he will come with the food, bring it to your door. How convenient is that? Yeah, I still haven't tried it because I feel bad to force him out to my door because I'm too lazy. But I know that I pay him, so... I don't know. I still have to get used to that. So guys, I found... Oh my Sweet Lord. goodness. <laughs> I found Shaolin here, uh, thank God. And we were sitting down on the sidewalk, but because we were sitting with our faces in the sun, a security guard, he came around to tell us that we should sit in the shadow. And we were like, oh, we're not scared of the sun. And he was like, oh, you should go to the shadow. And we, I said to Shaolin, maybe we should just go yeah. now because he just keeps to make him stop talking to yeah, us. Yeah, he keeps yeah. coming back to tell us that we should take care of our skin and yeah, I actually I did have my umbrella. I think it was because Shaolin's hair was in the mm. in the sun, so yeah. He doesn't know what a great uh, blonde color she will get if she stays yeah. in the sun. <laughs> but anyway, we're going down to the metro now. Just waiting for some help. Happy we speak Chinese, right? Because uh, this would be a mess. Alone. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be trouble. <laughs> Guys, this is the entrance. How lovely is this? I think they're real for once, actually. <laughs> and uh, this was the entrance to the dormitory. I don't think this is the correct place because they said that they were um, fixing our dorm. So I'm not sure if we're gonna stay here or if this is our dorm and they're fixing it now. I can't see the people fixing it, so I really don't know, but yeah. Anyway, ah, ugly. What I wanted to say was that we just came for lunchtime, so the guy couldn't help us because he needs his lunch. And in China, lunchtime is two effing hours. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know about your countries, but in Denmark, you only have lunch for like half an hour? 45 minutes. 45 minutes if you're lucky. And this dude was like, oh, sorry, I have to have my lunch. And I was like, mm, you know. Anyway, it's okay because I forgot my documents at my friend's place. So right now we just put our stuff in the um, in the hallway, in the reception. Uh, besides all the very, very good looking Korean oh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really need to learn some Korean because and some Chinese, more Chinese here because yeah, I think that's the two languages I would need uh, while I'm staying here. Anyway. We are going out to find some food now and then we'll go to my friend's place, get my suitcases and my documents and go back and try to see what's gonna happen, I think. Yeah. 
We'll, we'll go back and see. I don't know. Like, Shaolin is not very positive about I'm this. I'm never positive when it comes to Chinese and documents. Uh, <laughs> the moment <laughs> we come back, he's had his lunch, and then there's something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's We're very, still going to be here at night time, I can it's, tell. It's very common in China that it takes a long time when it comes to documents. And you need a lot of documents, and a lot of the documents I've never heard about before. So I'm not used to that because in Denmark everything is online. So you basically just go to the place you're going and then you show them your ID card and they're like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but here it's just whew, another story. Um, yeah, anyway, what would I... I, I, I want to talk to you guys, but I have no, much, no more to say. My English is bad because I'm speaking Danish these days. So for that, so when Shaolin has gone home, I hope my English will improve. <laughs> Sorry, no, no offense. <laughs> anyway, yeah, <laughs> she's not saying anything. I know what that means. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're on a road. We're on a on a road. Oh my God, this is really bad. We are on the road. We are on the road, but we are on our way to the subway. Maybe I'll just speak a little bit slower. It's when my tongue is like, blah, 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 then I don't know what to say. Whatever. See you guys later. Seems like the new trend these days are to have like two colored dumplings. So you can see it's green on this side and then it's white on this side. And we could choose other colors as well, but Xiaolin just got the normal one. <laughs> yeah, it's less dangerous. And actually, I was afraid that there was coriander in this one because it's all green inside, but it's not. There isn't, so that's a good thing. We should enjoy now. Happy lunch. Guys, I just have to let you in on a little thing. I like before when I tell people where I was going to university, my Chinese friends always said, Oh my god, that's so cool. You're gonna like they have so many beautiful people there. And I was just like, Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever, you know. I thought it was just a, a stereotype or an idea or something. I don't know what they call that, but <clears throat> but yeah. I'm just gonna let you guys know that it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> We've been walking around here for what, like an hour now? Not even, I don't think even. Not even no. an hour. And basically every minute we turn around like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> like the dudes here, oh my god. <laughs> that is. There are treat that's hard to beat. Yeah. What? A treat that's hard to beat? <laughs> yeah, guys. You know, because they're a snack. Quote, when the quote from <laughs> Shaolin. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you guys are looking for some eye candy, uh, just take a walk in the park of Communication University of China because hey ho! <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, and another really cool thing about uh, this place is that they have a lot of street <laughs> sales. <laughs> That's all the packages <laughs> people buy from Taobao. You come here and collect them in the middle of the street. Yeah. <laughs> so random. Anyway, um, a really cool thing is that this, you know, it's an art university and like creative university. So everywhere on the sidewalk, they're selling loads of notebooks. They are so cute. Like at some point, I would definitely make some kind of giveaway with these notebooks. You guys are gonna love them so much. They're amazing. I'm a sucker for those. It's so stupid. I have so many at home already, but I still wanna buy more. <laughs> that's just a really bad yeah. habit. Yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. Oops. But yeah. Anyway, we are going towards the metro again. We're gonna take the metro. Sorry for the harsh lies. Light, by the way. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for the metro so we can go to. Uh, we are. Oh my goodness. Could you maybe try to. So I can't can wait for the just, end of that sentence. Can you just I'm take over the forward. camera and, and vlog? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to the metro because we're gonna take the train to my friend's house to collect. You keep saying your friend, it's Matt. Everyone knows who Matt, Matt is by now. Sorry. Yeah, but if somebody's new to my channel. Alright. Oh gosh. Life of a YouTuber. It's harsh. <laughs> we're going to Matt's house to get my suitcases and then we'll go back to the university here and we hope that the receptionist or helper guy, he has finished his noodles yeah. so we can, so I can check in. And yeah, I should hurry up because the sun is gonna... Oh my god, I'm gonna look like a burnt tomato in 
less than two minutes if I don't hurry up and run to the shadow. I forgot my umbrella. Because, you know, we put our luggage besides the pretty Koreans in the reception. So I think I was a little distracted, you know. <laughs> so I forgot. Very. My umbrella very distracted. They're probably all going to be super cool Korean actors for soap operas or something. Okay, not important. We'll see you later.